What's up, boys? It's your boy back with another video. Now I want to talk about why you should stand wasting your time. Why do you waste your time? Why do you do things that you know aren't going to benefit you in the long run? Why do you even do anything at all? Are you looking for a quick relief, a quick fix? Are you looking for something that's sustainable over a long period of time? Or are you just really trying to make your way with the day and get to the next part already? But, you know, you can only do something for so long before you start questioning why you're even doing it. Or you can just avoid that in general and question from the beginning why you would do it at all, right? So when I talk about wasting time, you know, everybody has their own subjective idea of what wasting time looks like. For example, me wasting time is scrolling on my phone. I think I've talked about this. I've talked about this a lot, actually. But, you know, scrolling on my phone, oversleeping and overeating, uh, which... You know, oversleeping, you obviously lose a, uh, a block of time. Over Overeating, it can really mess up with my day. It makes me groggy. It makes me tired. You know, when I eat too much, I feel like my body is focused too much on trying to digest the, the food. And it really lags behind on my day to the point where, you know, I just get sleepy and then you go into oversleeping and then you know you want to lay down for a little bit you start scrolling on your phone and the next thing you know you you're scrolling on your phone you haven't even slept at all and now you're wasting even more time so it's just all a a catastrophic exponential down curve you know so how do we fix this you know you gotta minimize all the the bad Right, a lot of the times you have to take away from the equation instead of adding more. You know, humans are complicated creatures that we're always looking for for a solution. And I am a huge believer in the binary solution. Things come in zeros and ones. At the end of the day, that is the easiest possible solution. Yes and no. You want to boil it down to that right should you be doing this or should you not be doing this is this beneficial is this not beneficial there's no maybe well if i do this long enough then maybe it's just yes or no you know you have to be cutthroat with your time and you know i'm guilty of this i there's a lot of times that that i you know get wasted i am not perfect in this at all but you know there's a lot of a lot of a lot of areas in which I could improve this upon so really how do you maximize your time so the things that I found when I'm completely maximized is I got a schedule down I do the hardest activities pretty much first thing in the morning that way I can event because I look I I'm the kind of guy that does, I'm not a I'm not a night owl kind of guy. I used to be. I used to think that I could get the most hard things done at night. And, you know, as I got older, I kind of realized that, dude, this you know, I went through the whole day. I'm worn out at night. This sucks. I want to get it over with. So I started doing the most the most fatiguing activities in the in the beginning of the day. Now, things like these could be going to the gym or doing homework or trying to make some music. The, the later part of the days, like evenings, are usually reserved for more laid back, just kind of mindless activities, you know? And, I mean, I think it works, man. It's, I think it's a good guideline that you could follow, that you can adjust your schedule towards. So, well, obviously, first thing is you gotta get your schedule, right? You gotta get your your sleeping in check. You get your schedule right. You then able to get your sleep in check. If you're not sleeping enough, if you're not resting, you are gonna live the rest of your life in this blur, you know? Which is, I mean, to this day, I still live in that. It sucks, but it's totally fucking fun. So, 
you want to be able to catch up on sleep, get the most maximized sleep possible. This way your day is set up completely. Let's start with the base. Okay? You work your way up. Make a to-do list. Wait, when you wake up, when you just think about your day, think what is the most, what is the pos most possible productive way I could live the day. You do that. Do do that, man. You you, you got to just stop waiting for things to happen. You can't start reaching, man. You got to start crawling. And eventually you start walking and then you start running and then you start sprinting. You can start jumping. Okay? But you got to boil it down. If you have to start from zero, you start from zero, man. You know, there's been times that I've injured myself squatting and dude, I've had to start from the bar again. And it sucks. It takes months to build back up to where you once were. And you know what? That's okay, man. You learn. You you have to develop these habits as you go forward. So look, at least this is for me. Habits that I'm destroying completely is overeating, oversleeping, scrolling on my phone, doing nothing. Right? Every time I'll catch myself, every time I catch myself, scrolling, stack, pause, think, analyze, evaluate. Right. So yeah, that's the video for today. I have a lot of ideas regarding videos that I'm working on, but for right now, I'm just trying to keep this consistent. So that's, uh, that's it. I'll see you tomorrow.